Welcome back to Daybreak. It is 4.30 here on your Tuesday morning. We have a live look outside our Skycam network and outside our 12 News studio where traffic is kind of flowing you know, a little bit uh, as people head to work this morning. But we have seen uh, rain off and on throughout the morning, Tracy. And you know, if you are on the roads, be sure to be safe. And there's a nice look at Jasper right there. They're getting, <laughs> hit. They're getting hit pretty you hard. You think there's some rain out there? Maybe a little bit, right? Well, Jeff, of course, has been tracking for it all morning long. And uh, Jeff, the good news is we're not hearing those heavy bands of rain coming down right now. So we are getting a little bit of reprieve in between these heavy bands, which hopefully can help things to drain off. Yeah, uh, we're generally getting uh, some moderate to light rain across the area. There are some bands coming in that pop up and, and get a little heavy at times. Uh, right now, we're waiting for this band to come in. Uh, now off the Gulf of Mexico. I think the majority of this band is going to probably pinwheel over into parts of Cameron Parish, but uh, we're definitely going to catch the northern edge of this with some heavier rains uh, coming into Jefferson County here. Whether they hold together as they make their way northward, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but the center of the storm uh, down here to the uh, west of Galveston continues to move off towards the north and east. Here's the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Tropical Storm Nicholas now. It was a hurricane for a little while last night, but now back down to tropical storm strength. Winds are at 70, moving to the north, northeast at 9. And the track from the Hurricane Center uh, takes it uh, just towards the north of Galveston Bay at 1 o'clock this afternoon and then over us at 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. So it's a slow track, uh, but... Uh, Right now, it looks like it's moving a little bit faster than the track from the National Hurricane Center. But uh, once it gets over us, the rain will be off towards our east. So we don't have to deal with the rain today, tomorrow, Thursday. I think we deal with the rain today. And then as we head towards tonight into tomorrow, the rain should push off towards the east. We don't have to deal with it anymore. Uh, so uh, this is a lopsided storm system. It's all on the eastern side, not much on the western side. So as it does uh, push into Louisiana, as we go into Wednesday and into Thursday, uh, that rain will stay off towards uh, the east over into Louisiana. We don't have to deal with the heavy rain anymore after uh, today. Right now, here's radar, and you can see up in Jasper, we were showing a little bit of rain. It's nothing too heavy there. It's pretty light stuff. Uh, moderate to light rain through most of southeast Texas right now. Uh, there's that band of heavier rain down here into the Gulf of Mexico. Like I said, we're going to catch kind of the northern end of that. And yeah, there will be some pockets of some heavy rain with that. Maybe some gusty winds, 30, uh, maybe even up to 40 miles per hour. But I think the majority of this band is going to kind of push its way up into parts of Cameron Parish. Once again, the center of the storm is way back here. Uh, around the Friendswood area or south of Houston as it moves off towards the north northeast at about 9 to 10 miles per hour. Rainfall totals over the last 12 hours up in the lakes or north say Lumberton northward about a half an inch to maybe an inch. And you see in the light green here across uh, Beaumont over towards Orange, that's generally around an inch, inch and a half. And then you see some darker greens there. That's about an inch and a half to two inches. So anywhere from about an inch and a half to maybe two and a half inches of rain is what we've seen over the last 12 hours. Of course, you can't help but notice the real heavy stuff down into the Gulf of Mexico and then over towards Galveston, towards the center of the storm. They picked up anywhere between, I've been looking at it, anywhere between about four and seven inches of rain in that direction. Now, some of that will try to translate up towards us. I'm still thinking we could pick up a pretty good dose of rain today, maybe two, four, two to five inches of rain in some spots, but we're not looking for 10 inches of rain today. We're not looking for 15 inches of rain today. It's going to be more like two to five more inches from what we got now. So totals anywhere between about three and seven. And that's what we're forecasting uh, through uh, the next couple of days, about three to seven inches of rainfall. We got to watch for some of these bands containing some heavier rains that give us a lot of rain in a short amount of time. That's why the flash flood watch is posted through tomorrow. Uh, there is a flash flood warning down towards the center of the storm, which is around Galveston Bay down there. But uh, uh, nothing going on right now as far as any warnings. We just have a a flash flood watch over the area. As far as winds are concerned, of course, down towards the center of the storm, you're going to see higher winds. Right now, 41 in Houston, 43 in Galveston. Across our area, generally the winds are between 15 and 25. We had a reporter down at Port Arthur saying really gusty winds there. Right now, we've been seeing wind gusts up to about 25, so generally between 20 and 25 miles per hour uh, down towards Port Arthur. It might feel a little bit stronger than that if you're out in it, though. As we look at hurricane uh, warnings, those have been dropped. We all we have now are tropical storm warnings, and that's that whole area here in Orange, including Hardin County, Orange County, Jefferson County. 
once again, once the storm gets a little bit closer, we could see those winds gusting up to maybe uh, 39, 40 miles per hour. So we'll be watching for that. And then here's radar in motion. You can generally see uh, rain spreading across the area for this morning. A couple of these heavy bands set up where we pick up a, a little bit heavier rainfall, and then we're going to be watching for that one band to come in here over the next couple of hours or so. If you look at future cast, the general trend is for uh, some heavy rain through the morning, and then as we get into the afternoon, still a couple of pockets of heavy rain before it starts to slide off towards the east as we head into tonight and into tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, uh, the rain should be gone and uh, that storm should be working its way eastward. For today, uh, we'll go with heavy rain at times. We'll continue to see southeastern winds 20 to 30 with maybe some gusts higher than that. Temperatures in the lower 80s and then for tonight, uh, some more rain uh, scattered across the area with temperatures back into the lower 70s with southwesterly winds still about 20 to 30. All right, a lot of people are wondering what's it looking like outside, of course, the rain across our roads in those low lying areas, the places that typically pond along our feeder roads. Those are our biggest concerns. And we have our Dominic lay out in our storm tracker right now. Dominic, what are you seeing out there? Well, Tracy, it's it's really looking like the calm before the storm right now. The rain is still pretty light. It's getting a little bit heavier as the time goes by. But right now we are on College Street and uh, we've been driving by, set, we've been driving off some feeder roads and service roads and that right lane, it is starting to fill up with water. Um, so I would definitely try and stay off the roads at this time. I would also say the, the wind has definitely started to pick up a little bit. The rain is coming down a little bit harder. You can just feel those wind gusts on the car. It's it's bringing that rain and it's bringing those, that wind gust harder to the car. Um, and you know, uh, TxDOT, they did say to monitor any road closures um, to stay off the roads. They said that if you're trying to look for, if you're trying to monitor those roads, you can go to drivetexas.org to monitor those road closures. But right now we're continuing to head down College Street and it still looks like, um, as you can see, there's some, some trees, some flags down to the side on the left. Um, they are starting to blow. That wind is getting a little bit heavier right now, but it still looks like the rain is really light. You know, it's not too hard right now, but it definitely is coming. I would say over there in Port Arthur, that wind is probably headed this way because it definitely has felt um, with the, the rain coming to the sides of the car. Um, but we will continue to monitor that and keep you guys updated. But for now, in the Storm Tracker, Dominique Clay, 12 News. Right, yeah, especially if you have those high profile vehicles and that wind comes can kind of push you. And you know, we came in around 1130 last night and even then it wasn't a poor, a downpour, no. but I hit a couple places along I-10 on the inner lane there where there was water across the interstate and kind of threw me a little and bit. You can so hydroplane, hydroplane yeah, easily. And that's the yeah. thing, you have to be careful, both hands on the steering wheel, especially around this time now, because uh, like I said, it, it only takes just a little bit, maybe a little puddle or anything. Uh, for your car to start fishtailing all over yeah. the place. So take extra precautions. And you know, someplace where they are taking extra precautions is out at Gator Country, because we've seen in storms in the past where, you know, they need to protect some of our big gems here in Southeast Texas. They've gotten out before. We're talking about <laughs> Big Al and Big Tex. Of course, yeah, you, you remember Big Tex. I mean, it was unaccounted for after a tropical storm in Melda in 2019. And, and that's scary. It's very scary. You hide scary. your animals, you don't go outdoors. He's a very <laughs> large, large gator. Of course, on your screen, you're gonna see how severely gator country flooded, uh, pushing the gators out of their enclosures. And uh, let's see if we have that video. There it is. Yeah, look uh, at that. And, and you know, Just on the other side the of your screen, there. yeah, it's, it's crazy. You know, the other side of your screen, you can see a massively new installed fence that they just built this past week to keep these creatures in their home. Uh, of course, this video coming up here, you'll see in just a bit, was shared to us by Gary and Shannon Sarge of Gator Country. Uh, there it is on your right hand side. Uh, you know, Gary says that Big Al and Big Tex, they're sleeping here tonight. You don't have to worry about them in your garage or walking out. Look, that, look how big that fence is. So they're not going to be getting out anytime soon. Yeah, this is something we've seen uh, with storms in Florida as well as here. Uh, when alligators, you know, in these high waters, they can get out in, and you don't want that to happen. So they've taken precautions, and hopefully all is well. And, and I, they're not going to see anything like that flooding that we saw there, but uh, hopefully they will be safe and sound where they should be. Okay, and uh, do we have our um, our power outages, Mitchell? 
All right, there they are. So we want to show you this again. Uh, there are about 2,000 people, maybe a little over that now, uh, people without power. And this is in the Port Natchez area. And this is what we found to be the area that's been hit the hardest. They do say that there's a transformer that has blown there and they're not able to get to it. So you're going to be in the dark for at least a day as they wait for this uh, storm to blow through. But um, so that was caused by the storm we have learned. And there are several areas around the Beaumont area as well. So hang on and you can always check out the Entergy Texas map there to see who is without power. All right, let's go out to uh, Brad Broder right now who is in downtown Port Arthur and we've seen him throughout the morning. Brad, what can you tell us right now? Well, Nick, I feel like every time you tossed to me, right before you tossed to me, it had sort of died down. And then literally when you tossed to me, the wind picked up again. And that's exactly what just happened a second ago. The winds continue to really gust here and there. Uh, as Tracy mentioned a couple of minutes ago, we're not quite seeing the rain like she was seeing on I-10. It's raining, but not uh, a monsoon per se, but the winds continue to be howling around downtown Port Arthur. We're here in the downtown pavilion. It's covered right now, but you can certainly feel the winds really uh, coming in here. You can see the trees behind me continuing to get taken for a ride uh, this morning. Uh, it's been about this way since about three o'clock as these winds really started to pick up a little after we arrived here in Port Arthur about 2.30. Uh, I mentioned it a couple of minutes ago, if you didn't see, the Mayor Barty here of Port Arthur. He's concerned about the potential of flash flooding. He's also concerned about the Sabine Pass potentially being impassable for several hours if the flash flooding is impacted and some roads are temporarily impassable. A lot of the public schools in this area have been closed today as well as Lamar State College as a precaution. The winds are just, uh, they're really just kind of here and there. They're picking up, but uh, when you, when they really pick up, Nick and Tracy, you can feel it uh, because the winds are kind of coming direction from my back. So when they come like right now, there it is, you can feel it. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, we're keeping an eye on the winds, but again, uh, the rains aren't too bad uh, right now. Um, you know, it's raining certainly, uh, not just a, a gully washer as they say uh, from where I come from, but uh, uh, certainly a pretty steady rainfall. We're continuing to monitor the winds and the rain. So once the sun rises, we're going to head over to the seawall a couple blocks over to get a sense of what it's like uh, in the Sabine River, the Sabine Lake area. But uh, we're continuing to monitor here in Port Arthur. Uh, long story short, winds are pretty gusty at times. Rain not too bad at this moment. We'll continue to, to monitor the situation live in Port Arthur. Back to you guys. Thank you so much. Brad Brothers reporting for us live out there in Port Arthur. And Jeff will have another check of our forecast, tell you exactly when the storm will be heading over southeast Texas, what we can expect for the rest of your morning. We'll be right back.